Praise the Lord. We want to celebrate the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations, Vedras. You look beautiful. I love you, Lord. For oh, your mercy never failed me All my days have been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. Fire mercy never failed me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up, until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, 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 oh. cause all my life you have been faithful. Oh, 
yeah. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will say of the goodness of God. Oh, 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 cause all my life you have been faithful. Oh, yeah, all my life you have been so, so good with every breath that I am able. Oh, I will see. Of the goodness of God, I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You were close like no other. I've known you as a father. And I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. Because oh, all my life you have been faithful. You've been so, so good to me. Because all my life you have been so, so good. Of the goodness of God. Oh, all my life, every day, all my life, you have been faithful. Your mercies have been renewed every morning. All my life, you have been so, so good. Hey, with every breath that I am in. My life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Whoa, your goodness is running out, is running out to me. Your goodness is, your goodness is running. He keeps on chasing out to me. You've been so, 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 so. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Whoa, your goodness is running out. It's running out to me. Whoa, cause all my life you have been faithful. All her life. You have been so, so good. So with every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Thank you. Indeed, we'll all sing of the goodness of the Most High God, for He has blessed us with the gift of life and the blessing of today. One more time, put your hands together. Help me celebrate this great and mighty God. Amen. Dearly beloved, I welcome you to Royal House Chapel on behalf of our Father, the Apostle General, the Most Reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara, and our Mother, Mama Rita Crunchy Ankara. You are welcome to the solemnization of holy matrimony between our dear brother Carl Christ 
and our dear sister, Pastor Fedrias Nyamalo. The significance of this ceremony is evident from the fact that while on earth, our Lord Jesus Christ honored the institution of marriage. In fact, the first miracle Jesus ever performed was at a wedding in Canaan of Galilee, as recorded in John chapter 2. Marriage is also the first institution that was established by God. It is symbolic of the mystical union between Jesus Christ and his bride, the church. The Bible commands that marriage should be honored among all living people. And therefore, it is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God. With this understanding, our dear brother Carl Quist and our dear sister, Pastor Fedras Nyamalo, have this day, Saturday, 20th of April, 2024, decided to honor the Lord by presenting their union and relationship to him for his blessings. Carl and Fedrias, please rise to your feet. You guys are looking so sharp this afternoon. May I please know who gives away in marriage? Who gives Fedrias away in marriage to this young, handsome gentleman? And may I please know whether our dear brother Carl has performed all the necessary customary rites that qualifies him to take this beautiful bride away in marriage. Daddy, please rise to your feet, introduce yourself, tell us who you are. Hello? Hello? Please go ahead. I, Gidoni Nyamalo, the father of Fedrias Nyamalo. Mr. Judoni Nyamalo, yes. father of Fedrias Nyamalo. Yes, please. Please, has Carl Chris fulfilled all righteousness to qualify him to take away our daughter yes, as the wife? Yes, please. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Please walk. Thank you. Please walk gently to your daughter. Take hold of her right hand. Placing her right hand into the hands of Brother Carl, signifying, signifying the transfer of authority. Amen. <laughs> Daddy, thank you very much. Carl and Fedras, please walk. Gently and majestically to the altar of the Most High God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life. So, so good. With every breath that I am able. Oh, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every Car Christ, wisdom. Carl, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? And have you received the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? If you have, please say, Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Wow, I like the deepness of the voice. I don't think the congregation heard you a little louder. Yes, I have. Amen. Pastor Fedrias, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? 
And have you received the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? If you have, please say, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Honestly, being a pastor, I was wondering whether I should ask you this question. <laughs> but we have to fulfill our righteousness. <laughs> Carl, please stand and face the congregation with the right hand lifted. Left hand on your chest. Carl, priest. Do you take Fedrias Nyamalo to be your lawful wedded wife? And do you commit yourself to her as unto your own flesh? To cherish her above all others? To love her even as Christ loved the church? To protect and live with her after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony all the days of your life? If you do, please say, yes, I do. Maybe at this juncture, she say right hand lifted. With your left hand on your chest. Fedras Nyamalo, do you also take Karquis to be your lawful wedded husband? And do you commit yourself to him as unto your own flesh? To submit to him as unto the Lord? To show reverence to him as the head of this union? And to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? all the days of your lives. If you do, please say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Carl and Fedrias, please turn and face each other. Take hold of each other's hands. Please get closer, a little closer. Yes, I prefer it this way. Please maintain eye contact. Look deeply into the black of each other's eyes. Carl, please mention your full name. I, Carl Christ. Say I, then you mention your full name. I, I will love you. Honor you. Honor you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Share my life with you. Share my life with you. And keep you only at all times. And keep you only at all times. I want to repeat that one again. And keep you only at all times. 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 And so long as we both live. And so long as we both live. We, we shall, shall be, be one. 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 Carl, please mention your bride by that special name you have chosen to spice up your marriage with. And tell her with all the petrochemical and engineering nomenclature that you know that you love her. My apple pie. Hey. Please, none of you should ever think that you are going to eat apple pie this afternoon. This apple pie is exclusive to Carl only. Tell her that you love her. I love you. Hallelujah. Fedras are going to respond to your husband's vows. Say I, that you mention your full name. I, Fedras, I am Awuhiamalo. Promise before God. Promise before God. And all the witnesses gathered here. And all the witnesses gathered here. To be a faithful wife to you. To be a faithful wife to you. I will love you. I will love you. She has passed 150%. Honor you. Honor you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Share my life with you. Share my life with and you. And keep you only at all times. And keep you only at all times. So long as we both shall live, so long as we both shall live, we shall be one. We shall be one. Fedras, please mention your handsome groom by that special name you have chosen to spice up your marriage with, and tell him that you're also a petrochemical engineer, with all the nomenclature that you can master, and tell him that you love him. Sugar, I love. Turn to your neighbor to the left and the right and tell that there's a lot of sugar in the apple pie this afternoon. <laughs> this apple pie is going to be very sweet. 
this marriage will be very, 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 very sweet. Marriage is a covenant, and every covenant has a physical or visible seal. Carl and Phaedrus are about to seal their marriage covenant and vows with their wedding rings. May I please have the wedding rings? Your pocket might be very deep. Eh? <laughs> very powerful precious, beautiful rings, precious ornaments. Church, please stretch forth your hands towards us as we project these rings before the throne of God. We shall please invite Reverend Anakusia to come and pray over the rings for us. In the name of Jesus, we soak these rings in the blood of Jesus and we sanctify by the blood. Father, we pray that as they wear these rings, oh God, that their marriage will be filled with the presence of God. Their marriage will be filled with the Holy Spirit. That their union will be forever. Just as these rings are rounded and they have no end, we pray that this marriage will have no end in the name of Jesus. We declare on the altar of our father, Sam Kranchiankra, anything from their backgrounds that do not allow marriages to succeed. On this altar, we declare that it is broken in the name of Jesus. We declare that this altar will continually speak for this marriage. Yes, this altar will continually fight for this marriage. We declare that as they start this journey, oh Lord, that you will be with them. Just as the marriage of our father has gone 38 years and beyond, we declare that their marriage will also go 38 years and beyond. Hallelujah. That this marriage will produce fruits. Yes, this marriage will produce financial yes, blessings. Lord. This marriage will produce will produce things in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare with all gathered here, oh God, that this union is forever. We sanctify this rings in the name of God, the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Naka. These rings are precious ornaments made of pure gold. The purity of the gold should always remind you to maintain the purity of the marriage. The rings are circular in shape, denoting endless love, unending faithfulness, and continuous trust for each other. Carl and Fedrias, do not allow Satan to use anyone or anything to destroy your marriage. These rings must constantly remind you that God has blessed you with a union that is worth fighting and dying for. Carl, please pick the ring that you wish to wed your bride with. Take hold of her left hand. Gauge the fourth finger. Maintain eye contact. Just position the ring and listen carefully. Carl, remember that you are the and your decisions are binding on your wife and family. As you put this ring on Federal's finger, remember that it is not a symbol of domination, but of sacrificial love and selfless service. Understand that she is God's perfect and treasured gift to you. She has been given to you by God as your helper for life. With this understanding, please repeat these words after me. Say with this ring. With this ring. I the word. I the word. I give it as a token of my love for you. I give it as a token of my love for you. And as a token of my faith. And as a token of my faith. That I release towards you now. That I release towards you now. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. That this is forever. That this is forever. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name Every of Jesus Every believer Christ. gathered here will shout a big amen.
please place the ring on her finger. And one more time, mention her by that special name. And tell her that you love her. My apple pie. Apple pie. I love you. Are, are we also allowed to call her apple pie? Or not that one, just no. Guys, maintain eye contact. Fedras, Carl, whom you have chosen to be your husband, is God's gift to you. He is the head of this union and your covering. God has brought you into his life to help and to support him. Therefore, we wish to charge you that you should stand by him spiritually, physically, and socially with a conviction that with your help and encouragement, he can and will fulfill God's plan and purpose for his life. Please pick the ring. Gauge the left hand, fourth finger. And repeat these words after me. Say with this ring. With this ring. With this ring. I the word. I the word. I give it as a token of my love for you. I give it as a token of my love. And for as you. a token of the faith I have in you. And as a token of the faith I have in I you. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. That this is forever. That this is forever. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus in Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. And all shall say a big amen. Fedras, please mention your husband by that special, special name. And one more time, with every ounce and fiber of energy within you, tell him that you love him. Sugar, I love you. I like the way she drags the sugar. Are there single ladies in the house? Please give me a wave. May God bring you a man that's going to be a sugar in your apple pie. Up to this time, they have been repeating words after me. We want to give them a minute or two to speak and to pour out their hearts to each other. This time, they are going to speak out their own words, not words that I've asked them to repeat after me. Starting with you, Carl, the whole world is listening. My apple pie, thank you for deciding to take this journey with me. I know it's going to be filled with a lot of ups and downs, but with God and with your kind heart, I am certain this is, I will love you till the ends of the world. Thank you. Oh, I'm not hearing the ons. I'm not hearing the ons and the oos at all. Let me hear the ons and the oos. <laughs> uh -huh. Now I feel I'm in a wedding. Fedras, I know you got the raps. Pour it out. <laughs> Let it flow. Let it flow. Before the whole world, I know you love me. And my heart loves you too. I promise to serve you to honor you, to make you the happiest husband, to make you the husband that others wish to be. I will love you, and I promise to be that voice that gives you peace, that voice that makes you sleep at night. And I promise that our children will make us proud through the power of God. I love you. Yes. This is the wedding atmosphere I'm expecting. This is a true daughter of Mama Rita. Charlie, young single man, if you are looking for a wife, please come to Royal House Chapel. You are going to get, they are going to be the voice that you are going to hear that is going to put you into a sound, peaceful sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, put your hands together. Let's celebrate the grace and the goodness of God in the house. Dearly beloved, we have come to a very important part of the marriage ceremony, which is the invocation of God's word. At this juncture, I want to invite all reverend ministers who are appropriately attired, Reverend Naka, Reverend Robert, you may please join us.
as we invoke the blessings of God over Carl and Thaddeus. Church, join our faith together. Let us join our faith together. Every eye close. Stretch forth your hands to us. us. Let us all be in the mood and atmosphere of prayer as we project Carl and Phaedrus before the throne of grace. We are praying that the hand of God will be released towards them. We shall please invite Reverend Naka to release a word of prayer over their lives. the altar of our father Sam Kranchiankra, we lift up Carl and Fedras before you. Father, even as they've started this journey on this first day, we pray that you go ahead of them in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that this union will be forever. We pray that this marriage and their home will be filled with joy, will be filled with laughter. This marriage will produce fruits. That this marriage will be an example to all. That this marriage will be an emolument for all to see. Father, we pray that your grace will be upon them, that your hand will be upon them. Any challenge that they will face along the way, we pray that you give them wisdom to be able to resolve their issues. We pray pray for understanding in their home. We pray for peace in their home. Father, we pray that you preserve and you protect this union. That you who have begun a good work to them in, in today will bring them to an expected end. We pray that the grace upon our father and mother will be with them. And together this union will be to your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Reverend Robert. Father, we stand before the presence of God and we invoke covenant to speak. This is the altar that have turned lives around globally. Today is the turn of Carl and Phaedra. We project them before the heavenly throne and we turn everything in their favor. Father, there was a day Jesus was born and a star appeared. There are many stars in Royal House Chapel. Today, another one has appeared. May you become that star you have dreamed of in this marriage. It, our father, Apostle General Sam and Mama Marita, have traveled this far. This marriage will go beyond that. I pray that children will come to this marriage. Success will come into this marriage. Babies will come to this marriage. Doctors will come into this marriage. Men will come to this marriage. Houses will come to this marriage. You will never cry. I push every conspiracy and every eye that is watching to crush this marriage. But authority invested in this altar through the blood, I push them back to hell. This marriage is forever and with letting it down in Jesus' name. Amen. Carl and Phaedrus, upon this altar of covenant, we anoint you and we decree and we declare that by the token of the oil any and every yoke is broken any hindrance, any blockade anything that has been decreed anything that has been spoken anything that has been established anything that has been planted either in the heavenlies and on the ground that is going to be a hindrance and a contention against this marriage. We declare that by the authority of the name of Jesus, it is cancelled and it is nullified. Any evil arrow that has been fired, any trap that has been set to be activated in the womb of time for evil against you today upon the altar of mercy, upon the altar of covenant, we arrest and we nullify those arrows we declare that the expectations of the evil one shall be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. 
This marriage has been forged and established on a potent altar of covenant. Therefore, we declare that nothing, no power, no spirit, no system, no programming, no entity, no personality will be able to succeed and come against this marriage. We soak this marriage in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we declare that by the reason and the token of the blood, no evil shall come near your dwelling place. We declare open heavens over your life. We declare an outpouring of the blessings of heaven. The blessings of God that God has blessed us in heavenly places. We decree and we declare a release and an outpouring over you. Blessings of good health. Blessings of fruitfulness of the womb. Blessings of financial increase. Your ground will be blessed. Your fruit shall be blessed. Your, your, your vine shall yield of its increase. We connect you. And you remain connected. Into the life. Into the grace of God. Upon our father, apostle general and our mother, Mama Rita. That as their marriage is so, shall your marriage also be. This marriage shall be strong. This marriage shall be a living testimony, a living example. That when we are looking for an example of a successful marriage, everybody will say that, go and look at the marriage of Carl and Fedias. The marriage of our mother, our father and our mother counted. This marriage will last long. We shall celebrate many anniversaries in the name of Jesus. We shall hear the cry of babies and children in your home. We declare you blessed. We declare you highly favored. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every believer gathered will shout the big and a believing amen. And therefore we declare that what God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we lift you up. We declare. May you be lifted up. To high places. To places of honor. To places of increase. Men of God, thank you very much. Men and women of God, thank you very much. Congregation, I believe you can do much better. Oh, Put those two hands together. You have been faithful. Oh, my life, you have been so, so the goodness of, of God. God. Carl and Fedras, you are now officially husband and wife. Please turn and face each other. So on this note, by all the powers vested in me as a reverend minister here at Royal House Chapel, I ask you, Carl, take two steps forward. And please drop that cross guard that you have held tightly in front of you. Fedras, I, I hope I'm okay to drop the title. Wait. For alive. Carl, you may kiss your bride. There are some people in the congregation, this is all they've been waiting for. All the things that we are doing here this afternoon, they don't seem interested at all. This is what they have been waiting for. Carl, please take hold of your bride. Drop the cross guard, please. Take hold of her. Pull her close to you and plant a sweet, beautiful kiss on her lips. You are, you are my head. I didn't ask you to stop. I'm the moderator here this afternoon. I'm the timekeeper. I'm watching the second stick. There are some people in the congregation, they said they didn't see what happened. Oh God, I feel here too. You too. Carl, it came out one day, I got no lie. Carl. And Fedras, you are going to serve each other, the body and the blood. And let it be a perpetual reminder to you that your marriage, your relationship is not a master-servant relationship. That's the same spirit, the same mind which was in Christ should be in your mind. That same spirit of humility 
selflessness and service to each to service to mankind should be the hallmark of this marriage. Carl, please pick the bread. Turn and face each other. Please do it romantically. Let the whole world know that we, the men, uh, we know how to serve our women. Please go ahead. Yes, I was expecting to hold a chain then. <laughs> Federals, please serve your husband. Romantically done. Carl, please serve your wife the wine, the blood. He reaches to the heart, highest yes, mountain. And it flows to, to the golden home, West Valley. Best man, you didn't come here with your wife, so you have to serve yourself. Please help yourself. From day to day, it will get said I shouldn't say anything. I'm about to give you a prophecy that a year by this time may a godly man be serving you the bread and the body, the bread and the wine in the name of Frederick, please turn and face the congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor and the pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time the freshest and the latest couple in town, Mr. and Pastor Carl and Frederick Christ. What God has joined together, let no man Put asunder. Church congregation, as they pass by, please acknowledge them. Let's cheer them. Let us congratulate them. The music team will give us something hot and danceable. <laughs> Oh, you my panuti, yebe. Oh, nyami tufwe, oh, nyami tufwe, yebe. Indeed, great and mighty are the things that God has done in our lives. We cannot pay for the goodness, we cannot pay for the mercies, we cannot pay for the grace, we cannot pay for the favor that God, please take your seats. We cannot pay for all the blessings that God keeps showering and bestowing upon us day in, day out. But when we come to church like this, we come and gather in the presence of God like this, we can only give an offering, we can only give a token to say thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies. At this juncture, I want to encourage all of us to reach into our bags and our pockets. We are not paying God. We cannot pay God. But we can only show appreciation and say thank you, Father. We would like to invite Father Jacob of the Christ and King Cathedral, Christ the King Cathedral Akachi, to come and bless this offering for us. Father Jacob, Christ the King Cathedral Akachi.
Let us pray. Jifo fufu amen vala nubla ne kola pa mao mi kafu mi suvo mi do ngoreji. Mi ba ko akpe de wa men vanu gogbo o. Amen. MOJ is going to lead us with a song ministration as we take the offering. Right after the song ministration, we are going to receive a word of exhortation which is going to be brought to us by one or the son of the father, Apostle General. He is the executive pastor here at the Royal House, here at the headquarters, Royal House Chapel International. He is Reverend Papa Crunchy Ankara. He is going to bring us the word right after the offering and song ministration. MOG. Thank you. We are here to celebrate Carl and Lady Pastor Federal. It's an amazing time. Put your hands together for Jesus. Turn it up. I'll be committed to you. I'll never leave you. Nothing in this world can make me walk away. No matter what life may bring, I'll be by your side. No matter what you think, you won't be lonely. Forever is a long time. That's how long I'll love you. That's how long I'll love you forever. Forever is a long time. That's how long I'll love you. That's how long I'll love you forever. No matter what life may bring, I'll be by your side. No matter what you face, you will be lonely. And this is my promise to you. My love is everlasting. You can count on me to be there always. Say, forever is a long time. That's how. I just want me to tell you that she says this. I'll love you. I'll love you. I'll love you forever. Say I'll love you. I'll love you. I'll love you. Doesn't matter what we go through, Lord. Gentlemen, help me welcome 
Reverend Papa Krati Ankara. International acclaimed uh, uh, VGMA award winner, Grammy nominated. Oh, come on, we, are you jealous? All right, you came here for Ferdias and Cash. Shall we acknowledge the latest couple in town? There are some jealous people on my left, but it's okay, it's okay. Congratulations one more time. We appreciate and celebrate with you. I want to speak, briefly speak to you from Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 39. In Royal Chapel, our wedding sermons are very short because uh, the couple is not paying attention. Uh, they are focused on what will happen tonight. And I don't want to interrupt their plan. So we will be out of this place very, very shortly. But also because they have gone through weeks of uh, premarital counseling. And they are very well prepared for the journey that is to come. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? amen. Now I know you are here. Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 39. On the same day... When evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And little other boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep. On a pillow, and they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he, he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Amen. The Bible is littered with and flood and water be marriage to experience storms in your marriage. That is not the reason why the marriage should end. And Jesus taught us in this short scripture three keys to arise above every storm and to ensure that you arrive at the other side. Lesson number one, leave the multitude behind. On this journey, you cannot go with a crowd behind you. The crowd will end today at the gate when we finish the pictures. Carl, you had many friends before today. Fedrias, you had many friends before today. After today, it is Carl and Fedrias. No parents, no multitude. It's you and your God. From today, you must shut your ears to the voices of many people because everybody has an opinion on how your marriage must be run. Everybody will have an opinion on how you must pay school fees. Everybody has an opinion on where you must stay. But if Jesus Christ, we are, we are to take the lessons from Jesus Christ, the first lesson is leave the multitude behind. From today is you and your spouse. Hello? Oh, I'm not only talking to Carl and Fredrias. I'm preaching to the congregation. Hello? If you want to cross over to the other side, leave the multitude behind. Number two, invite Jesus Christ into the boat. Invite Jesus Christ into the boat. The Bible says, and now they left the multitude and they took Jesus Christ along in the boat. You want to be successful, Jesus Christ must be at the center of this union. You can never do anything without him. One of the reasons why our father, the apostle general, and our mother, the, uh, the premier lady, have traveled 36 years, 37 years in marriage is because Jesus Christ is at the center. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are at the sound of my voice this afternoon and you came to celebrate with this beautiful couple, I want you to leave with this lesson that without Jesus Christ in your boat, the journey will sink. The boat will sink. The journey will be cut short. You want to be successful and arrive at your destination, carry Jesus Christ along in the boat. And the last lesson, speak positivity. Speak positivity. And the Bible says that the disciples, when they saw the wind, they said, hey, master, don't you care that we are about to perish? Can't you see that we are about to die? 
Can't you see that the marriage is collapsing? Can't you see that there's pressure on all sides? We are owing ECG. We are owing water bill. We are owing school fees. Can't you see, Charlie? The marriage is on rocks. We are about to collapse. And Jesus Christ arose and in three words, he said, peace, be still. Peace, be still. At any point in time in your marriage, let positive words come out of your mouth. At no point should you get to any in your marriage when you are speaking negativity. As a pastor, I've had the opportunity to counsel couples who are going through struggle. And when you hear some of the words, I regret the day I married you. I should have known you'll be useless because of your mother. True stories. I've heard things. I've heard words spoken. At no point in your marriage, Carl and Fedrias, should negativity come. At every point, every stage, you need to strengthen your spouse with positive words. I appreciate the things that you are doing for this family. I love you. I am standing with you. When you are going for that interview, I want you to know that I'm praying with you. You are the best husband that God could ever have selected for me. You are the best wife that God could have ever selected for me. Positive words. Peace. Be still. And remember, the marriage will not be without storms. But the words that you speak in the midst of the storms will determine whether you cross over to the other side or not. You want to finish well? Leave the multitude behind. Let Jesus Christ be at the center of this marriage and speak positivity. And I can guarantee you, we shall gather again in 30 years to celebrate your 30th anniversary. We will gather to celebrate all the adoration of your five children. We will be there to see their marriage and their graduation. You will do well. You will succeed on this journey. We love you. We are standing with you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, church, we can better appreciate God for such a powerful and concise word. If you are married here, place your hand upon your chest and say that my marriage will never be the same. With this kind of spiritual food, my marriage is nourished. Shout amen. Church, help me bless God for the life of the vessel. Reverend Papa Kranchiankra, that God has used so powerfully and mightily to bless us this afternoon. Carl and Fedras, with these kind of words, the sky can only be the limit. Your marriage will be successful in the name of Jesus. Congratulations to you one more time. Leave the crowd behind. Invite Jesus into the boat of your lives and your marriages. Speak positivity all the time. Amen. We cannot hear such a powerful word without saying thank you to Jesus. We cannot hear such a powerful word without connecting by sowing a seed and an offering. This offering that we are going to take is going to do two things. It's going to say thank you to God for giving us such nutritious food, spiritual food for our lives and the journey of life. And then number two is going to be our token of love, our token of support to support Mr. and Mrs. Carl Quist. That this journey that they have embarked on, all of us together, we are supporting them with a love offering, with our love token. Please reach into your bags and your pockets. We've been seated for a while. We all want to be upstanding and come dancing as we drop our offerings in the offering basket. We want to stretch our legs, shake our body a bit. Those on my right hand side, you are going to come through the right hand side aisle, come forward, drop the offering and then go back dancing through the middle aisle. Those on my left hand side, you are going to come through the left hand, left hand side aisle, drop your offering, your love offering and then you go back dancing through the middle aisle. Whilst we do this, we'll invite Carl and Fedras to go to the certificate table to sign. We want to invite two witnesses from Carl's side, two from Fedras' side, to come and help us sign the wedding certificate. We shall, Pastor Pa Tremantin, a recording artist, one of the faithful sons of our father, Apostle General, 
is going to lead us in a song ministration as we give our love offering and as we sign the marriage certificate. Yes, yeah, please. please. Shall we please be nice. standing our feet? And the case yeah, yeah, change so yeah, and you yam can true true yami. And the case yeah, and the case yo, and the case yeah, yeah, change so yeah, and you yam can true true yami. Adi kesiwa, 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 adi kesiwa,
my life around. Hey, he turned my life. He makes a way. Say who has the final say? Put your hands together. Come on. Put your hands together. Who has the final say? Oh, Jehovah turns my life around. Everybody sing. He turns my life around. He makes a way. Jehovah turned my life around. He turned my life. He makes a way. Jehovah, how lovely are the mountains are the feet of them. Hey, who bring good news? Good news, say.
no sé si o managa. A mí yo no no sé si o managa. A mí yo no no sé si o managa. A mí yo no no sé si se está ganando. Somebody give the Lord Almighty a shout of praise and celebration in the house. Amen. All too soon we are drawing closer and closer to the end of this wonderful ceremony. We have gotten to the stage of the cake cutting. Beautiful, beautiful, powerful looking cake. How many tears? One, two, three, four, five. Am I right? Five tears. Five stands. Five is the number of grace. And we know that the grace of God is going to be sufficient upon this marriage and upon every life gathered in this place this afternoon. Shout a believing amen. Helping us to lead the couple in cutting the cake is one of the faithful daughters of Apostle General Mama Rita. She is a reverend minister a wife of a pastor. She's the person of Reverend Benny Scatter. She's going to lead a couple in cutting the cake. And she's also the head of women in ministry. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Christ, please join me. Congratulations. Mrs. Christ, please give me your hand. Then Mr. Christ, please put your hand under. We want to cut this cake in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mr. and Mrs. Christ, we decree and declare that as this cake looks beautiful, all in white, so shall this marriage go and look beautiful. Everywhere you go, you shall be a testimony. Your life, the life of your children, your ministry, your profession will be a testimony. Pastor Fedras, you have served in the house of the Lord and thus far, the Lord has blessed you. On the occasion of your marriage, I join my anointing with the anointing of the woman of God and the Apostle General. They have gone 32 years and counting. Mr. and Mrs. Christ, you will go 35 years and counting. I pray that this marriage will become a household name. Just as Royal House has become a household name, so shall this marriage be. Out of this marriage, we shall win more souls for Christ. Out of this marriage, we shall champion every cause that the Lord has laid on our heart. Pastor Fedras, Mr. Christ, from today, we make you a pastor. You are not only marrying a pastor, you would also be a pastor. And together, you shall preach the gospel and you will do great things for the kingdom of God. You are blessed and you are highly favored. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. They shall be the first to test of the cake. Pastor Fedras, I know you are a daughter of Mama Rita. Take the cake and feed your husband. Do it the way Mama Rita has taught you. Beautiful. Mr. Christ, I want you to serve your, hus your wife. And as you do this, remember that in this union, you continue to serve each other. You be together. There is no boss 
there is no servant in this marriage. You serve each other in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. We want to invite um, the two mothers to join them. So, mommy, you go this way and then, yes. You look beautiful. So this is signifying the full support of both parents in this union. Amen. Church, shall we please put our hands together and bless God for the life of Reverend Mrs. Benny Scatter. And put those two hands together and congratulate yourselves. You've been a very, very wonderful congregation. God bless you for coming. All too soon, we have come to the end of this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful celebration. Personally, I would have loved for us to continue and continue and continue till daybreak. Hallelujah. But as God will have it, we have to close and then move on to other programs. Please move and take your positions. Please, we'll be recessing out soon. We want to, when we are recessing out, we'll please ask the congregation to be upstanding as a sign and a token of honor to the married couple. Brother Train, please take your positions. Brother Train, please take your positions. We'll please invite... Lady Deacon, Mrs. Jackie, Crunchy Ankara to present the love token. A few minutes ago, all of us joined our hands together to raise a love token, to raise a gift for Carl and Pastor Mrs. Christ. Carl and Pastor Fetrias, we want to say congratulations to you one more time. It's been a beautiful ceremony, and we're so excited for the journey that you have just begun. In my hand is um, a seed offering from the church just to sow into your life and into your marriage. We are praying and believing God to continue to be the center of this marriage. As the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9, a three chord is not easily broken. So we declare that the Holy Spirit will be with you all the years of your lives in this journey. And we know that may it bear fruit, beautiful fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. May you never lack in this marriage. Go and enjoy yourselves. God bless you. Congratulations. G, I think in the house. <laughs> what teams? Okay, that's why the response didn't come. <laughs> Amen. Our father and our mother, Apostle John and Mama Rita, will always want to be personally part of every celebration in Royal House Chapel, but they are busy schedules and apostolic assignments does not allow them to be available all the time. So as con we, have, we have the convention where we will not present the certificate to the couple right now. When they come to church, Apostle General and Mama Rita will present it to them personally and then release the father's and the mother's blessings over their lives. I also want to take this opportunity to invite each and every one of you. 
if you are here, you do not have a church you fellowship with, you do not have a spiritual father and mother overseeing your life and speaking into your life, I want to invite you, come to Royal House Chapel, come and pitch, come with us. Apostle General Mama Rita will be excited to receive you and welcome you. They are going to father you and mother you and raise you in the fear and the knowledge of the word of God. Tomorrow, 8 a.m., our doors are open. We'll not be meeting here. We'll be meeting in the Oil Dome, our 21,000 seater auditorium, the latest architectural icon that has come to beautify the skyline of Accra. Come, let us gather at the feet of God and let us share fellowship together and your life will be blessed. Your life will never be the same again. Tomorrow, 8 a.m., Oil Dome, come and let us fellowship together. Amen. Shall we please be upstanding? Shall we share the... Yes, yeah, so the order of the photographs will be taken at the back right-hand side where I'm pointing to the right-hand exit over there. So we want to plead with you, if you want to exit the auditorium, use the other exits available so that you don't disturb the order of photography. Thank you, thank you very much. Shall we please share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Place your hand upon your head and declare over your lives. He anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Most High God, even now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May the favor of the Lord rest in your domain. May God keep you and preserve you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are who you are yesterday. Brother Trim, officiating ministers, then family, then the rest of us. What you say is what you do. You never fail. You never change. You were faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. Because you're too faithful to fail me. Oh, Jesus, you're too faithful to disappoint. You've proven yourself in my life, and I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Oh, Lord, you're too faithful to fail me. Oh, Jesus, you're too faithful to disappoint me. Point me. You're too faithful to disappoint 
Proving yourself in my life. Proving yourself in my life. And I've come to realize. Oh, you're too faithful. You have proven yourself in my life. You've proven yourself. Thank you all for coming. Officiating minister. Um, counselors, please get ready as officiating ministers take their photographs. Counselors, please get ready. When officiating ministers are done, pastors of Royal House, you can wait behind and take the next photograph. Thank you. Pastors of Royal House, pastors of Royal House. 